Welcome to another Greater One video review. Today we're going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the S Pen. This is the S Pen itself and the S Pen button. Press and hold that to perform certain functions with the S Pen. Set up the S Pen. Let's go to your settings and scroll down to system and press S Pen. Set up your dominant hand. You can set up a sound when it attaches, detaches. You can have it automatically open up a pop-up note when you pull the pen out of the holster. Battery saving mode. An S Pen keeper which makes a sound when the when you walk away with your phone without the pen in the holster. Air view is kind of like a hover mode where you can perform certain tasks like scrolling just by hovering the screen or preview messages just by hovering over the message. You can have it make a sound as feedback. Quick command settings. It has several different quick commands that are already set up. Internet search, email, maps, call, messaging. I set up for the Galaxy Note to open up my script calculator, S Note, and calendar just by making those commands. To add a command, you can either select functions and settings or you can select an application to open and select whatever application you want and then create your gesture that's the camera so I'll just make a C for the camera there's also this S Pen help that'll show you pretty much all the same functions that I'm showing you today but that's a good reference point to set up the quick commands to go to the quick commands just press and hold your S Pen button and swipe up that'll open up your quick commands we just set up the camera to open with uh, my quick, quick command of C so I'll try to put the C in there see if the camera comes up, open a camera, which it does. Now I'll go to one of the default, go to the search. To do a search, you just do question mark, then search whatever, for whatever you want to search for. I'll go to greater one. Goes to the internet, goes to greater one. Now, if you want to go back, a lot of people have said, well, you can't press the back button or menu button on this. Well, with the S Pen, you can actually do the gesture of less than sign, but you got to press the button. You got to press the S Pen button and do the less than sign, and that'll go back. You can also open up the menu button by pressing and holding the S button, doing a carrot. That'll open up your menu button without actually pressing it. You can use the gesture of the of the pen. Like I said, there's a hover mode. You can scroll easily here, up and down without actually touching the screen. You can make a screenshot by pressing and holding the S button and pressing and holding the screen that'll make a screenshot and you can crop it and save it you can also we'll go to quick commands again I'll open up the calculator I set this one up before for my script calculator. And if you just want to get a crop of something, you just press and hold the S button and draw around it. And then you can save it in your scrapbook, S note, email, messaging, etc. I'll go to my scrapbook. I'll save it to my scrapbook. 
And like I said, I set up before a quick command to go to S note. So I'll press and hold the S button. And this will bring up my quick command. And I set up an S for opening up S note. Go to my scrapbook. And there's my new crop that I just made. And you can copy it, cut it, delete it, etc. Like I said, you can press and hold this for your back button, your S button to go back. You can also press and hold your S button and double tap on the screen. That'll bring up a quick note to, uh, you need to make a quick note anywhere. One more function I'll show you is in the video mode. You can hover over with the S Pen and whether the video is playing or not, you can quickly scroll through the video and go to the frame that you want to choose. So it just makes it easier to navigate your videos. That's about it. That's the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the S Pen functions.